up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janelle and for this week's uh, Piercing Wednesdays, I wanted to actually do a two week update on my nipple piercings once again for episode three. And pretty much it's been two, a little bit over two weeks now since I had, since I repierced them myself. And again, I had gloves, I had clamps, I had the piercing needles and I had jewelry. So I was actually using my old tongue barbells that I was recycling them since I really don't wear my tongue piercing anymore. And I decided to repair them because I've been really missing my nipple piercings and I wanted them back. So I decided, hey, why the hell not? I have the stuff to do it. So that's exactly what I did. It honestly, the clamp, like the clamps, hurt are the worst part because like you take it and then you just shove a needle through. And again, you're, when you go to a professional piercer, they'll do it really quick for you because it's like, it's really, the pinching part is what you feel when the needle's going through that sensitive skin because it, your nipples are really, really sensitive anyway. So when you take a needle and shove it through, it's even more sensitive and it hurts. I, I feel like, I felt like it hurt the second time worse only because like I did it before and then there, the scar tissue is still there. So it was a little bit thicker to go through. So pretty much what I did was I took my clamps and I lined it up where my where the old where my scars were on each side. So I took the clamps and then I pretty much lined up the needle where I wanted it and I just did it. But instead of going really fast like breathe in, breathe out, I didn't mark them because I had my scars. So I just went slowly bit, bit by bit. And professional piercers go fast only because it hurts. I won't lie. It 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 did hurt the second time. I feel like it hurt worse this time than it did the second time but when I did it like I said I was going really slow like I did with my my lower belly button and I wouldn't recommend piercing yourself at home because it's so risky and you pose so many risks when you do it like infections and it's just not worth it trust me just go get it professionally pierced if you're scared I will not lie to you it does hurt like I'd say on a scale of like 1 to 10 it'd probably be like maybe well, for me, it was probably maybe like a five because like the pinching was, the pinching part with the needle pushing through is bad, but the after pain is what hurts even worse. But like I'm saying like the after pain is what really, really kills you. For me personally, after I did it, my nipples were sore for like, God, like almost three days. And again, you're not supposed to take any, any medicine. And I didn't do that. I iced it. I cleaned it. After probably about f four days or so, like the pain finally went away. Like it went away day three, but day four, I decided, I'm like, hey, I, like I was cleaning it for the first week. And then I decided, I'm just letting my body heal at this time instead of actually using stuff to clean it myself, which I know was bad because, like I said, because I did it myself, you pose the risk of infections and getting sick and rejecting and scarring even more even though the scars are already there but whatever so I'm letting them do their thing and normally you're supposed to wait anywhere from like two months to like maybe even six months just to be safe not to change them yeah you're supposed to wait six months a full six months before you can change your bars that's that's what professional piercers were walking with because just just it gives you time to have the skin react to how it's going to react if if you don't change it yourself but I decided like I think like a week like not even a week ago like maybe a few days ago last week yeah like a, at like a week into the process I decided hey I'm gonna be stupid and I actually ordered on um, bioplast uh, tongue barbells and that's the matching barbells because I wanted them to match but um so I bought these bioplast barbells and I'm actually I, I with gloves again of course and clean the jewelry I put them in and they my skin has been reacting very nicely to it I haven't had any issues so far and it, my skin hasn't even hasn't really been crusting either there's no pus there's no tenderness it, it went away like once your piercings start healing there's the healing phase and then it's itchy so I had a few days when like I'm like oh my god it's so itchy but I don't want to sit in public just like pound on my chest because people are like what the hell are you doing but I my, the healing process is going really, really well so far. It's been two weeks, and I'm happy with the result that it's going in so far. Because, like, sometimes, like, the pulling when you're, like, I forgot, like, the pulling on, like, your shirt or a bra, like, a tank top or something, or even a towel when changing it hurts like a bitch. And, like, the tug, I forgot that that tugging hurts so bad because I haven't had mine in, like, two years because I took mine out. But, um, 
once once like you get used to it like you start to get into a, a rhythm of things so it's like not as hard to get used to if that makes sense I don't think I explained it that well but like once you have a piercings your body adjusts really well to it depending depending if it doesn't reject or migrate which mine have never done I've never had a piercing migrate or reject on me I've had them get infected of course because I'm human but I've never had them re reject so I won't really know what that's like but they're healing really really well and I'm actually really happy with how they turned out because I was so afraid I'm like well if what if it's crooked or what if it's like hey, but it's not crooked because I just lined up this with I lined up the scar and I just did it slowly but the worst part for me uh, the worst part for me was when um, after uh, like as I was getting the needle in it hurt so bad like I just let the needle sit there for like maybe five minutes and then I put the um, the bar in but it, I went really slow I think it took me about like maybe I want to say five minutes to do each one only because I was just going so slow and I took a shower and I'm like eh why not I'm already clean let's just do it so I pretty much did it after I took a shower like I came upstairs and I did it I was like in my room trying to do it for like maybe 20 minutes and uh, it shouldn't take you uh, it shouldn't take you 20 minutes to, to get the piercing like I, and usually like when, when I first got them done back in 2013 I was sitting there waiting in the um, waiting room with my cousin and we were sitting there like oh my god this is actually happening Jesus Christ and I went and I remember going in winter of 2013 so like January February ish it is cold in Michigan for those who know you know how cold it is here so just getting like your nipples pierced in February is like not the best idea because like metal and skin just don't go together so it felt really really weird when I went outside I'm like oh this doesn't hurt and then I'm like oh my god that cold breeze was terrible but I, obviously I did it in the summer and I don't have to worry about it until I like, come winter but even then I'm, I have bioplast barbell so I, I think I'm fine even though even though the only my only complaint about bioplast is it's so flexible obviously because it's plastic and it, it's to be it's a it's understandable flexible like so like I can pretty much just mess with them if I want to just to bend it which you shouldn't be touching it anyway even though the only time you should be touching your nipple piercing is to clean them and that's about it only cleaning them and I'm just letting my body heal them itself so naturally so I'm not really doing much even though you should be cleaning it but I'm not out when I'm in the shower I'll do you know I'll use like the soap like antibacterial soap but other than that I don't really use like I don't really do sea salt soaks unless like it's it, if it flares up I will only because that is painful <laughs> and I had them before and they would flare up and it was just so unbearable even just like nudging it like in a hoodie or just like when you when some one of your friends actually like bumps into you or hugs you just like oh my god my boobs hurt because I've had that before they flare up so bad it's just nasty irritated sore so I have to do like soaks for like a week and it would clear up but like my skin it was just ugh, it was just gross when I did it and back then but now that I redid it I'm just you know letting my body take care of it on its own and just going with the wind and I I like them I, I actually actually really love like nipple piercings I look good on everybody I think but some people wouldn't expect people certain people to get them just by looking at them and many people told me like yeah I, I wouldn't expect you to get them either but it's like it's whatever I'm, I didn't do it for anyone but myself because I'm like they're so cool I think and they look really nice <sighs> I love I love piercings in general and stuff and I don't I don't want to retire them again but I might have to retire them eventually down the road for obvious reasons for like motherhood but other than that I don't think I'm going to retire them anytime soon and when I redid it like I said out of 10 on a scale of 1 to 10 when I redid it it was probably a 5 and it was uncomfortable I won't lie the three the, first, the three days after were, was uh, was really terrible and each person's pain pain tolerances are different so it just depends on yours and I know a lot of people are really scared to get it because of the pain but if you want something enough, badly enough you'll do it regardless of the pain and just go to professional and just get it done it'll look awesome if you do get done do not do like horseshoe hoops because those can get tangled easily just get the, like the little um barbell straight across barbell you have two little balls on the side of your nipples but it's whatever instead of like a horseshoe like i've seen some people get like 
I don't know why you would put yourself through like all that much pain just to get like the horseshoe. Standard barbell would be better than a horseshoe because your nipples would shape and it's just not pretty but if you do have those that's cool, cool for you if yours are healed but I wouldn't I honestly my preference I wouldn't want them to I wouldn't want to be pierced with them because it's just it's not I don't know like I've heard so many horror stories like like their horseshoes getting ripped out of their nipples and it's just it's not pretty I can't imagine the blood it just it's a painful piercing to get and to have it ripped out oh god I just a standard barbell stainless steel there you go but for me I pierced myself with a stainless steel barbells of course like tongue barbells that I had sterilized obviously and then I switched it to bioplast but it's my first time wearing bioplast in like any of my piercings except I lied I used to wear bioplast in my um bread only because or my my uh, Medusa filtrum piercing just because they irritate my gums but that those are the only times I wear uh, bioplast but anyway that is like all for this episode of piercing wednesdays it is two in two weeks since i pierced my own nipples like i said and i hope you guys like this video for like more if you want to follow me on like social media my links will be in the description box below feel free to subscribe to my channel if not that's cool if you just want to watch the video give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye